Alright, so we're going to attempt to apply one of the first Invisi Shields and see how simple this process is. A couple of very simple steps. The first one, even though it's not listed in the, in the instructions, is that we're going to want to make sure that the surface of our iPad is totally clean. Look at that. Get all those smudges on there. Just get a simple lens cloth, microfiber cloth, and wipe it all down. This one actually came with my iPad, or my iMac rather, and it should do the trick. Right, right off the bat we can see we've got a pretty big difference in the one side and I'll continue on the other half and get this screen prepped and perfect to apply this. Okay, I'm going to apply the one that's the full body front and back without the side pieces that the maximum coverage offers initially. Okay, just want to make sure that all of my fingerprints and smudges are gone. Okay, looks nice and clean, brand new. Okay, first thing you want to do is make sure after you do that, after you get the device prepped, make sure that you have cleaned your hands thoroughly. You don't want any dirt and smudges and get as many skin oils as you can off of your hands. All right, and we have the spray that they give us. Okay. Their recommendation is to spray your fingertips just a little bit with each of these. Each hand, rather. Just to make sure that you don't have fingerprints. Now we're going to take the first of two. This is the front half. And we're going to go ahead and peel the paper backing off. Which may be the most challenging part. Hey, once you have it off, you want to lay it on your hand like this. Give it a spritz. You want to dampen this, that way we can lay it in place and actually move it. Okay. And we'll see if we can get close. Okay, let's start with that. We should be able to slide it down as needed using the bottom hole, the home button, as a reference. Okay, let's get that in. Peel it up. Okay, and we grab our squeegee tool. Okay. will allow us to bring this down nice and smooth without any bubbles. Okay, once you have it initially applied, zoom in, you see what you get. You have all these little bubbles in here. So you just take some time with the squeegee to work these bubbles out a little bit at a time. Okay. Work your way out from the middle down to each of the edges. And it takes a little bit of time to go over them. I'm just working them through. And I tell you that as this dries and sets and cures, basically, a lot of these micro bubbles will disappear all on their own. But obviously you want to help it along as best as you can by getting at all the major ones. Have a paper towel handy because a lot of that spray is going to bubble up along the edges and come out. You're going to want to dry it nice and easily on the side. Okay. You can put 
push them around with your fingers too and work them all out. Alright, I continue working all these out. Get it nice and fresh and flat and looking good. And then come back and talk to you more about it.